now is the time for companies to start evaluating AI tools. Oh, we're going to lose our jobs because of generative AI. And I'm like, no, it is going to escalate your job to the next level. It's going to free them up to do what they're good at. Exactly right. And that's really a big distinction. And I would say sales leaders listening to this podcast, that's what people have to realize that sellers are good at one thing and they're good at sales. That's why we hire them. They're not researchers. No, They're not writers and they're not the guys who are going to be doing analysis on SWOT and so on. What they're going to be good at is building relationships, Mm -hmm. understanding. And for building relationships, there are tools out there such as ours that kind of help you augment your natural instincts with quantifiable data at a company level, at an individual level, and even write it out for you. Build the full strategy from strategy to execution in less than 10 minutes. That's entirely possible today. A lot of salespeople are stressed out. It's a position that has become extremely stressful. We've got to remove that stress out of that equation. If you are doing just general promotions, your marketing team is being very general and broad. I can understand being stressed because you must be told no a lot. That's if you get your emails even opened or your telephone calls answered. You're just doing it over and over. But if you can pinpoint and start to create those subject lines that resonate with people, then they'll open it up. You'll be able to book those meetings and hopefully go to the next level and convert to be buyers. Absolutely. And better qualification. Who are we targeting? Let's not just put everybody in the same, in the same box and send yeah. them the same message. That's just not going to work.